Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Last episode we got uh, some a little bit of oil going. We got plastic and rubber uh, being produced in a single machine each, uh, which is uh, all good. But it's going to take a little while to to get the amounts that we need. So I figured that while we wait for that to happen. Uh, we want to un unlock this alternate heavy modular frame. Uh, so we need to go and get some quick wire because we don't have enough of that and we don't have any criteria more. But we do have the ability to scan for it. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Go exploring a little bit for uh, the, the criteria so that we can start uh, producing that as well. Uh, another thing uh, is that we stuck a uh, hard drive into the MAM, so let's see what that gives us. Uh, so, alternate blueprint for modular frames, alternate blueprint for reinforced iron plate, and one for rubber cable. So which one do we want? Hmm. I think we'll go with the rubber cable and see what that's all about and we do have one more hard drive available so let's stick that in there and get that researching and we want to bring back uh, quite a bit of criteria more because we need to research uh, quick wire which takes a hundred uh, criteria more and we also needed to unlock uh, some stuff. We needed to unlock uh, this one. And I don't remember if there's more. Uh, we don't need it for the encased industrial beams. This is for the heavy modular frames. But the encased industrial beams would actually be nice to unlock as well. And we can do that right now. So let's just uh, unlock it. And be done with that. We have that recipe available when we start setting up encased industrial beams. Uh, let's see what it is. Uh, uh, encased industrial beam, alternate encased industrial beam. So 18 steel pipe and 10 concrete. And the other one is four steel beams and five concrete. But it only produces one in case of industrial beam, this produces three, so this might actually be quite a bit better. Uh, but we'll see. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, uh, but let's uh, equip ourselves. We are pretty well equipped. We have stuff for building. We have uh, what are they called? Walkways and stuff. We have some. Uh, concrete, we have our object scanner, we have a bit of nuts, and we have our trusty Sino uh, basher. So let's scan for some Kateria more and go find it. Over there. 899 meters over there. So that's not too bad. Some over here as well, 622 meters, uh, 2,000 meters. Let's do uh, the closest one and go find that. Seems like it's somewhere that we've been there quite a lot and just haven't seen it. Because it's right on the way to our cave and where the tractor path is and everything. So, hmm. I wonder where it is. Let's scan again. Two hundred and thirty meters. Is it right up here? Jesus, uh, I've have I been searching for ages for something that is right around the corner. It certainly looks like it. Uh, I guess it's up there somewhere. Uh, can we get up there without having to build our way up there? Oh, there's poison here. Get out of here. I wonder why that didn't poison us. 
That was a bit weird. Bit of lag there. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can get up there without building. So let's do that. Uh, let's just scan first, make sure that it is where we think it is. 165 meters. I guess it is up here somewhere. So how was the easiest way to build our way up there? Okay. So I guess it's right up here on this ledge. So let's build our way up there. And we could do it from the side of our uh, bridge here. And I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to need some uh, walkways. So let's see, ramp and corner for sure, and maybe a straight. Uh, I don't think we need the crossing, but let's just do it. There, you have all of them. Hey there, tractor. And another one. Uh, so let's start uh, building our way up here. Oops. And the corner. And go up some more. No. We need one more maybe, and then we can turn again. And go. Oh, there's also a, a power slug up there. Very nice. And there's some straights. It'll take us in. There we go. Very nice. All right. So where's the Caterium? It's right there. Now let's see if there are some enemies up here before we start banging away at it. Uh, doesn't particularly look like it. But there is the power slug up there, so let's grab that. Whoops, that was... I actually just needed to jump once to get up on this. Grab the power slug. And here is the Caterium ore, and... What is it? It's pure. Isn't that beautiful? So... I think uh, what I'll do is I'll just bang away at this for a little bit and then I'll be back because just watching me bang at this is no fun whatsoever so I'll bang at this and uh, come back all right so we're back and uh, I have made 600 quick wire I banged out 600 uh, caterium ore which I turned into 150 ingots and in turn turned them into 600 quick wire so what we can do now is we can unlock uh, this thing if we go and get some rubber, which we will do. Uh, that won't take too long. Uh, but uh, and we but we can also research. Uh, let, let's put let's see alternate rubber cable. That needs some rubber as well to research. Uh, so we can research quick wire now, and I think our uh, Ma'am should be done with the hard drive, so let's take a look. Yes, it is. So, let's see. Alternate blueprint, reinforced iron plate, uh, the rotor again. Alternate blueprint, Caterium circuit board. Uh, I think we'll go with that one. Uh, just for the heck of it. And we can stick in 100 quick wire here and start researching that. And that'll take 22 and a half minutes. So let's begin analyzing it because we are out of hard drives, hard drives for now. Uh, but we do have 500 quick wire, uh, plus the 90 that we already had, so that is very, very nice. All right, so let's go get some rubber. 
uh, real quick. Or oh, maybe we do have rubber. I'm not sure. Did I keep it on me? Yeah, and I don't didn't stick any in here. I think no. All right, so we need to go get some some rubber. That's fine. And we can do that while the uh, quick wire is researching. We do need to go get that Mercer Sphere at some point, though it's not important right now. Oh, there are some uh, nuts there. Let's go grab those. Can't just need nuts sitting around. All right, so we'll run over and check on our oil production, see how we're doing for rubber and uh, plastic. I did uh, overclock the plastic machine uh, so that it's producing uh, it's twice as fast. I overclocked it to 200%. So we should have quite a bit of plastic now. Which is great. Well, I don't want to fall off. I don't want to fall off. Uh, all right, so uh, this is uh, really, really good. We got the Caterium ore and we are getting there with the plastic and the rubber. I think we have unlocked another hard drive and so on. So yeah, even though things are taking a while, it's going forward. So let's start by taking a look at the plastic. How much do we have? Oops, we need to look at this. Okay, we have quite a bit of plastic. So let's uh, grab some of that, like that, and then grab two, uh, whoops, again, over here. Grab two, uh, actually three stacks of uh, rubber, and then get back to our factory. So that we can get some stuff unlocked. Look at the scenery. I mean, it is truly a beautiful game. Truly a beautiful game. And it's nice that it's complex, but uh, the, the controls and everything is very, very simple. But the gameplay itself... Uh, Setting up the factory to work uh, optimally and balancing everything out is quite complex. And I'm even doing it the easy way uh, because I'm just saying I want one machine to produce uh, or I want one machine to, to produce something of everything, right? So every product in the game, I want to have one machine producing and that's it. Uh, and that's a really, really simple way to do it. And they even have their own small... Uh, might say closed networks of of uh, pre-production. So if something needs iron plates, it'll have it on its own iron plate machines uh, producing it. So I've done it, made it uh, quite simple. But I do want to start another playthrough uh, sometime soon where I make it a lot more complex because uh, that I think that could be fun. But uh, let's see, we have the stuff we need so we can. Unlock the alternate heavy modular frame. So let's do that. There we go. That's that unlocked. And what else can we unlock? Uh, the alternate rubber cable we can unlock. So let's do that. And there was more. Uh, Ethereum circuit board, we can do that. So let's get that done. There we go. And is there anything else we can do? I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. Nope. Could get the gas masks and stuff. I don't think get the color gun uh, let's get that going uh, might as well oh so that's the color gun and that'll take two and a half minutes which isn't too bad let's just sort our inventory 
Right. So we're doing pretty good. So I think in between uh, this episode and the next one, I will uh, be making a ton of circuit boards and computers and so on so that we can get um, our oil uh, fuel generators going. Uh, but let's see. Five cable with three wire and two rubber. That is pretty nice. Three circuit boards for 12 plastic and 32. That sounds pretty good too. And we also unlock this, uh, which is eight frames, 10 industrial beams, steel pipes, and concrete. But it just produces three of them. Where this only produces one. So I think uh, we have some really nice alternate recipes that we can uh, can work on. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Um, so let's see. This isn't done now, right? I think it'll take a while. Yeah, it's not done. There's still 15 minutes to go. But. Um, yeah, I will get all of this done in between episode, guys, and then uh, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.